Why hello there and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing five minute nail art. Now, uh, one quick thing to, to let you know with the five minute nail art, the accent nail is the five minutes. The rest, the base coats should already be applied and that does not count in our timer. I'm Tim, Phoebe's husband, and I will be your special guest host for today's edition. The accent nail here, um, you can see, is a, is a very lovely pink. Um, it appears to be using a Rimmel Long Lasting Finish Pro. A nice pink china glaze. A raspberry, I would say. Um, and some super chick lacquer polish. Uh, also black acrylic paint. A, a fine brush. So first apply your base coat to your non-accent nails. That's the fun part, right ladies? Then apply your base coat to your accent nail. Now this is the nail, like I said earlier, that's going to take you about five minutes um, to, to do this particular nail art. Um, as you can see, uh, it was a really sheer, so we did a couple of coats. Um, then you just kind of freehand the, the lines across. And don't be, don't be afraid um, if, you, <clears throat> if you make it a little thicker, a little thinner. It is what it is. So we're putting three stripes across it and then backfilling with this really, really lovely glittery um, uh, polish. And I believe that's gonna actually go in between the black lines obviously it did on that one and yes there we go so she's putting the second one in there now she puts the raspberry hearts on and there you have it there's our first one done in five minutes second one quite similar to the first we have the in this case three nails that are done in a bright pink by virtuous polish haha <laughs> I got that one um, and an OPI a natural nail base coat and as always the Rimmel lasting finish pro top coat once again we're gonna use a fine brush so we applied our base coat and we get it nice and even in a couple of coats. We do the same with our accent nail. A couple of coats, gets it nice and pretty. Get a nice even coverage, let it dry, and then you come back in using that fine, fine little brush and you Right, love. But for some reason, you write it backwards from the middle out. I guess you do that so that you make sure you have enough space so that you can space out the, the word. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. There you go, we just connect it all up and we have a nice cursive love on our accent nail. Look at her go. Boom. Just go back in, touch up a little bit as you need to. Clearly she has to. Uh, there's a lot that, that, that she's having to clean up. And Oh, look, look at this. So now, <clears throat> any place that she might have made a smudge or, or anything, she goes back in with a, a, a small brush and, and just kind of outlines 
to clean it up and make it look beautiful. Bam, look at her kicking it up a notch. Nice. That, ladies, is... That's pro level. Obviously, not something I would be doing. Uh, and then you just finish it off with a nice top coat, get it nice and glossy, make it shine. And there you have it. There is our second nails. Now this one, I, I was actually told, was actually inspired by um, Phoebe's friend, Stacy. Hello, Stacy. Um, also, we use the Rimmel uh, Lasting Finish Pro on this one as well. The Super Chick Lacquer shiny stuff and the acrylic paint purple pansy also acrylic paint fun fuchsia more acrylic paint uh, red apple yet again more acrylic paint in turquoise once again the little fine brush and we go ahead and we do the uh, I'm going to guess linear holographic, but I'm sure that's wrong, and I'll, I'll probably hear about that later. Um, but you apply your base coat to all your nails, and then you go back in and you start your design. There, there we have a, a beautiful red heart. And... Oh, oh, I see. So she did. You'll notice the first heart was uh, the the inside was hollow, and on the second heart, the uh, it was the exact opposite. Now we do the same with the turquoise. We're gonna put a couple of different hearts on there in turquoise. You do a solid one, and then one with a an outline. And don't be afraid to cut it off like that. See how she she did the, the heart, but it kind of goes into her thumb? Nothing wrong with that, ladies. See, she, she did it again with the pink. She has the, it kind of looks like it's actually going into her, into her finger and once, once that dries, you apply your top coat and voila. In this one, you'll notice the accent nail is actually the one without all the designs on it. On this one, um, the accent nail is the white with the, I don't know, bubbly stuff. And you're going to use the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro. The Zoya pinkish thing, pinkish polish. Uh, once again, red apple acrylic paint, uh, the fun fuchsia acrylic paint, and the purple pansy acrylic paint, and also a white base coat for your accent nail. And here we go. We we paint all of our nails. Um, I I like to try and do them one at a time. Um, yeah, so put a nice, nice base coat on and you'll do that with, this is the accent nail, of course. By the way, um, I, I noticed I was using a lot of the acrylic paint names earlier. Um, if you want to use different colors, that's fine. Um, but I think the, the, the big takeaway from this is to use the acrylic paints because it, it's what you do. And you'll see she uses the little, uh, that little blob tool to pick up a little bit of paint and put a dot of it on in several spots. And you just kind of alternate the colors and just keep placing them until you have the desired pattern that you want. I'm not sure where we're going with this one. It kind of looks like a heart. I'm hoping it's a heart. 
plus a heart of dots. Nope, I was wrong. It's not a heart. It's just a pattern of, of, of dots. So yeah, you just continue to, to place these dots in a, a random order. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be random. You, you could, I mean, you know, do a geometric design and, you know, standardize, you know, what's going where, what goes by what, and um, yeah. So next we're gonna be coming up on the top coat. Should be coming any minute now. Once again, this is only a five minute nail project, so. And there we go, I think that's a finishing, no, here's the finishing touches coming up. By the way, if you don't have this particular tool, I'm sure you could probably pick it up at any beauty store. Um, and then take an obscene amount of time putting dots on your fingers. And then we go with the top coat. There we go. See, I, I knew it was coming eventually. Now, as far as the inspiration for all of these, uh, I did mention Stacy in the in the one with the holographic uh, nail polish, but the other three, uh, Phoebe is going to link where her inspiration came from. Thank you for joining me. I, I hope you enjoyed this and have a good night. Bye.